Ron, I have a question. Yes. They yes, just Daniel. talked about mm-hmm. like, the stoning incident. And yes. You have sin, I like, stole her. So a lot of people use that like passage as to say like Jesus condemns judging or prejudging a person of, upon this, like whatever. And also in James it says like do not judge like somebody else. And Where's that? At? Show me that in James. That's not true. That's not true. No. I was trying to find it right now. But no. The Lord. When people try to get out of judgment, the Lord says, judge not lest ye be judged. For with for what judgment you judge with, you shall be judged. He's just warning people. He's not telling people not to judge. He's saying, you're going to be judged at the same standard you judge others. He not, we're called to judge. By the way, the one about, about he, he never said, he never said she did not deserve to be stoned. That's not in the passage. He said, as, as God He's being gracious to Israel. Oh, she's a type of Israel. I believe in Roman. He's saying, let the man standing here with stones in their hand, the one of you guys who has not sinned, he's pulling that principle right there. In their mind, they're thinking, we all deserve to be stoned. That's what they were thinking because they dropped the stone. There was only one man in her midst who, 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 who actually qualified to throw a stone at her. That was the Lord Jesus. He refused to. You can do that. Joseph, Joseph, he, he says, I'm going to put my wife away in private. He could have publicly made an example, had Mary, or tried to have Mary Stone. But he, so the Lord Jesus didn't have to throw that. He was teaching Israel about his graciousness. The book of John records that. That's the only time it's recorded, right? What did we learn? Were you at, at our book of John study? What is the word John? What's the name John mean? You remember? Mm-mm. God is gracious. And what the book of John, the reason why they, they separated from the three gospels, the synoptics, is because it's it's the grace of God being poured out to Israel. That's the only record of him with that woman. It's not in any other, other gospel because he's showing Israel, you deserve to be stoned, but I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to take it upon myself. Yeah. You know, I had a question about that too. Like, where... Where does Jesus stand in terms of the law? Because a lot of times when Pharisees come in, <laughs> he stands. And ask, ask like, um, why is your uh, just like apostle and disciples at that time? Right? Why don't they wash their hands before yeah, why they, don't eat? they keep the law? Um, no, no, that wasn't a law. It wasn't a law. No, that was some tradition they made up. That the Lord Jesus, He says, why do you destroy the command of God through your tradition? Also, everything that those Pharisees... Let me finish this story. He says, it's not what comes into the mouth of a man that defiles a man and what comes out, he goes on to say. So they made that up. All It says the Pharisees... So it wasn't actually a law that was given? No, they did. Let's look at that passage. It was the Pharisees who came because they had a custom that everything be... Yeah. All these war- that was their custom. And Jesus answered back to them saying, like, oh, David even did something. something well, no, you're mixing up too. Yeah, he yeah, went, he came back. In- <laughs> he said... Why don't you honor your father and your mother? Uh-huh. He's like, you guys had some, some money to provide for your parents in their old age. And you tell your parents, mom and dad, I can't give this to you. It got to go down to the temple. I got to give it to the Lord. And he says, you dishonor your parents and you dishonor the command of God. He says, you guys take the provisions for your parents and give it to the Lord. He goes, no, no, you're supposed to be taking. He says, y'all worried about washing hands and none of you guys honor your parents. He's telling them take care of their elderly parents and they wouldn't do it. They left them destitute so that they can put on this religious show of the flesh and, and, and put, put their offerings in the temple. He said, I'd rather you take those offerings in the temples and take care of your parents. Yep. The Pharisees came up with all these washings and stuff. Yeah. God had some ceremonial washings, but they took it to an extreme. They added to it. That's what he's saying. But were there actually a case where his disciples didn't keep... What the law said? Well, you, now you're thinking about the one that yeah, they pluck in corn, corn right? Yeah, yeah. But but the law the law just said don't take a bag, uh-huh. and so it's it's like this: if you're walking around, you can see a lot of orange trees. According to God's law, you could walk past your neighbor's orange tree, grab an orange, mm-hmm. and keep walking, mm-hmm. but you just couldn't go there with your bag and just start <laughs> taking. Right, uh-huh. right. That's the difference. <laughs> Because I've seen few cases like that where they question Jesus. Well, because he did it on a Sabbath. Because they, they were questioning the fact that he did it on a, the Sabbath day. Yeah, isn't that 
violating the law. No. You, no. you could eat. He says, which of you on a you Sabbath. Sabbath day? Yeah, you could eat on the Sabbath. So but I they thought, were saying because they picked the grain mm -hmm. out of the field, they were working. Right. They, they were calling that work, and that wasn't. That's called eating. <laughs> so I, but, but, to, but to, and you know how he got him? He goes, which of you having an ox that falls into... So it's the Sabbath, right? You have an ox, he falls into a ditch. They would get the men together and get a rope and pull that ox out and do all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So he's getting on him. He goes, you guys do stuff all the time that God is okay with. And y'all going to be strict the fact that I'm pulling a, a pieces of food to feed myself and my disciples. He was calling them hypocrites is what he's saying. There was nothing wrong for them eating. In fact, he says, Sabbath was the man. The Sabbath was not made for man, but uh, man for the Sabbath. Maybe I got it wrong. But the point is, it was a day of rest so that they can think about who God made them, right? It's think about the kingdom every Every seventh day, they were supposed to think about the kingdom to come. But they didn't do anything wrong by eating food. They didn't go and collect all the man. They just ate a little bit and kept going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, Moses ordered that person to be put to death when one of right. that persons gathered up a stick from the ground and just have a faith. Right. And why was he gathering the stick? That was a lot, too. That was a tradition of men. Well, because Moses, in that time, when they were in the wilderness... God told them he's going to provide food for them. Oh. Two, two days worth of food on that sixth day. Mm -hmm. And he told them while they're in the wilderness, don't go out and do anything on that. And what that guy was going, gather those sticks to, he was going to go and make some food. He's going, he was doing something rebellious, obviously, because even Moses was like, I got to take this to the Lord. You know, the Lord said, stone him. God knew that man's heart was rebellious. Okay. We talk about that. It's about the heart. Yeah. But God provided two days worth of food for them on the sixth day so that they wouldn't have to go out and gather on the seventh and do all that. They prepared two days worth and, it's, and it lasted for the seventh. So they ate. You could eat on the Sabbath. You have to eat every day. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to, but they ate every day, you know. And the rolling of the mat and picking it up, that kind of stuff, that's not. No, the Pharisees made that a work, but that's not a work. Uh... They weren't. Look, the Jews just didn't sit like this. Uh, every Saturday and didn't move for 24 hours, man. No, they did stuff. It was more they were to think about God's rest, right? They weren't to go out and work in the fields and stuff like that. But if a woman or a man wanted to go down to the market, well, what a good Jew would do is they would have just got their market food the day before like they did in the world and just... The family, right, and the family would sit down together and that whole day just think about the Lord and his kingdom to come. That's the purpose of the Sabbath. The Pharisees made it. You couldn't do this. They, they, they were nitpicking. That's why he says, you looking at all these little things, dude, you got this moat in your eye. So That's it's safe to say that every accusation that the law people like, accused Jesus of was... Just a tradition, not It was their tradition, tradition right. Mm -hmm. The Lord Jesus well, kept... Oral tradition, right. They, they made it up. As they they made it go, up. As go. By the way, the Lord Jesus was perfect. Mm -hmm. He kept every jot and tittle of the true law of God perfectly. He never broke a law. Ever. I thought he was making an exception and disrupting this law system a little bit to show his... No, he, he was disrupting the religious system. It'll be like this. Every, if every other church is water baptizing and we walk out and say, you don't need to do that. We just... Dis they think, whoa, you're going against the Bible. No, we're going against your tradition. No, your tradition. That's what he did. He cut right through their tradition to the nitty gritty of the truth, truth of God's word. Yeah. Yeah. And right division will let you do that too. Well, water baptism... I know it's not for salvation, but it's just this outward sign of, and I just say, who told you that? You made that. They made that up. Cut through all that stuff, man. Yeah. That's what you do. He, he just got right down to the essence of the law, love and judgment. Yeah. And mercy. I worked in a Jewish hospital for a while mm -hmm. in Chicago, and mm -hmm. some of my patients were extreme Orthodox <laughs> Jew. Hmm. I got a story. And I remember mm -hmm. one particular case, mm -hmm. a woman who had congestive heart failure. And because they interpreted the law to mean that you couldn't, you, you, the, the, the oral tradition said you couldn't ride your ass someplace, 
well, then I, you couldn't get in a car uh, si. or any kind si. of a vehicle. Si. She would go into congestive heart failure si. on the Sabbath. They would walk her eight blocks to the hospital. Stupid. Because she couldn't go in an ambulance or a car. And by the time she got to us, she was almost dead. You, you do understand how ridiculous that is. Because God would say, yeah, get her as fast as you can. To the help. The because because think, about, think about preserving life. God is a God of life. Do you really think that God, with this woman's life on the line, would tell them, hey, don't you get in that car. Or don't put her in the ambulance. That God would want them to risk her life by walking her, literally walking her eight blocks when they could have got her to the hospital in a car in about two minutes. They are so stupid. But that's what, you, let me tell you, this Orthodox family went into a restaurant. Big family ordered a bunch of stuff, right? Sat right in the middle of the restaurant, whole family. Got the little yarmulkes, got the little, tor did the whole thing. Ordered the stuff. Waitress put in the order, hundreds of dollars worth of stuff, whatever, big fan. When they brought out the stuff, the guy asked the waitress, oh, oh, is this kosher? What do you mean, is it kosher? You didn't ask me. Oh, no, no, we can't, we can't eat this if it's not kosher. And made a big stink in the restaurant because it wasn't kosher. Wouldn't you think, as soon as he, the father got in there, he says, hey, we're Jews. We'd like to know if your food is kosher. Do if you not. have a kosher kitchen? <laughs> this dude put on this big show of the flesh, see? He made a big deal after the fact. Never, never asked about whether it's kosher before he went, before he ordered. It was not until after. That's the show of the flesh. It was so that they could be seen as pious. They stood up and walked out because it wasn't kosher enough. See, see, you the see, one, you see the, the other religious one that I piousness. I absolutely loved was Muslims are like my that. Muslims are like that too. Yeah. Sit, lying in his bed, it's the Sabbath. His phone is ringing. Oh, wow. <laughs> he wouldn't pick it up. He wouldn't pick it up because that's work. But if I picked it up and held it up to him, he would talk on the phone. <laughs> he's allowed to like, make other people work, but he's not allowed to right. work himself. They wouldn't get in an elevator on the Sabbath because that was... That's a vehicle. Yeah. You see what's religion do to you? You know what's funny? Even during the even 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 during the Lord's Day, even during the Lord's Day, those same Pharisees who nitpicked him, he told them, "You guys, if your if your ass or your ox fell into a hole, a whole group of you guys will walk out there with ropes and pull them out." And y'all mad at me because I'm healing a man on the Sabbath? You guys are crazy. Religion is insane, man. It's insane, man. I'm telling you. But that because it's a show of the flesh, right? So you'll go into a restaurant, order all this food, and then after the waitress begins bringing it out, you, you ask it whether it's kosher or not. You wasted all their food. You walk out of there. And probably refused to pay. No, they didn't pay for it. No. No, they didn't pay for it. Because we can't eat it. No. Because paying for it, what do you mean? Why would I pay for food that's not kosher, right? That would be dishonoring to God. I mean, but but they went in there. This I, Yes. This guy went in there. I'm telling you, the, that man, the father went in there with that intention to make that big show in the flesh. He, he, why wouldn't he ask before they ordered? Oh, yeah. and during the order, uh, we'd like that. Is that, you know. Even before that. Even I before that. Why would you I go to a restaurant? Yeah, yeah. Every Jewish family yeah. knows which restaurant they, is. Exactly, <laughs> Mary. Why are you even going to that restaurant? Even you in know? the airplane, yeah. they ask you, are you going to eat kosher? Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. 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 they're yeah. 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 This dude set up that whole thing to be a big show in the flesh. That's what he did. <laughs> but that's religion. It is. 